Hi, my name is George Ragazzi and I'm the archivist for the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City. I'm here to guide you through the Blessed Stanley Rother Heritage Gallery at the Catholic Pastoral Center in Oklahoma City. Another very important project in the mind of Father Stanley Rother, Blessed Stanley Rother, was working on a New Testament in the native tongue of the people of Santiago Atiglan. There were two different groups of people there, there were those who spoke Spanish and those who spoke the native dialects of Sahil. In 1968, when Father Stan came to the, the, the mission, Father Ramon Carlin had started in 1964, and one of his goals was to try to get this native dialect written down on paper. Because before that, it didn't exist on paper. It was only a spoken, passed on language through tradition. So Father Stanley, who had problems, as we know, with languages by flunking out of seminary because of his disdain for Latin, not only learned Spanish, but he learned this very complex dialect, Sutsahil. And one of his goals while he was pastor was to translate the New Testament into that native language. And he worked diligently on this with a team of, of experts at the college at Antigua on trying to figure out how to keep this language vibrant and part of the cultural landscape. So in, in, in 1981, we have a photograph of Father Stanley showing the first draft of this copy to Archbishop Salatka. It was not published, however, until 1990. But this wonderful piece of work that helps preserve a culture and brings the gospel to numerous people who before could only hear it audibly and now they can read it is one of the gifts that he has given to the people of Santiago Atila.